everybody. A few clouds coming in now, but it's not a bad looking day. All right, we'll have a look at the installation. Now, for those of you that kept pointing out, you don't have ventilation, you don't have ventilation. What you have to remember is, this is a work in progress, okay? Okay, we'll go into that cupboard in a minute. So, the electrician came and um, he put the generator input on, which is totally separate from the inverter. It's got nothing to do with the inverter. It bypasses the inverter and means that if anything goes wrong in the new power room, or let's call it power cabinet, um, I can still run the house off the camper trailer or the little Honda generator. We put a whole new board in here. There we go. Very nice job. Now I remember all this wiring is going, okay? And we've already started pulling everything apart in this room. Now those of you that have been following me will know what it used to look like. Today we're going to shift the inverters and um, remove as much wiring as I can. I still need to keep the Victron going and the uh, Midnight going until the Solar Man comes. I have organised, I've already had one here. He was a very rude, ignorant person. Um, so we won't be using him. Okay, now let's talk about this little fan. You all saw my little fan and went, oh, that, 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 that won't do. Okay, this little tiny fan. Okay, it's got 60 PA pressure. Uh, fan performance. Okay. 193 cubic metres an hour, or 54 litres a second. Free air performance, and that's what it is in this cabinet. The noise is 39 dBA, and it applies to all the standards. Now that's going to get plugged in there with a thermostat that will turn the fan on and off. Now there are some holes down the bottom to bring air in down there and there's also also this vermin proof venting system right here and it's quite large um, and when the door is shut that is directly sucking air through the top of the over the top here and through the sides here through the cooling fins so with that little fan on it will be fantastic um, so that's taken care of that. Like I said, the electrician, the solar electrician's coming. Um, my main electrician has to come back because uh, we ran out of um, RCDs because I had a couple of faulty ones he had to replace. I got him to check my house out while he was here. It's so hard to get electricians here that you know you get as much done as you can. He's coming back to put an RCD in there for this PowerPoint. So this PowerPoint's not alive, it's, it's nothing. It, that's, it's, it's there waiting to be wired and that's it. Um, and he ran the wires. That's the generator. There, that's the house output. He put bloody big wires on it. Jesus, the size of the wires are huge. Um, I can draw more power through them than my house will ever need. Uh, the system, we tested the generator out. Um, we put uh, 0 0.10 kilowatts an hour, kilowatt hour of power through, the, through just to test the little tiny generator. It performed really well. Um, 
the batteries are performing really, really well. All right, they're a hundred percent state of charge, and we're currently using 19.25 amps off the solar, so the solar's not doing a hell of a lot right now. But it's not reading from the solar, same as it's not reading from the batteries, because the batteries are also hooked up in here. And how you test okay, that is, see if your batteries are set up right. You push this one, then you push this one, then you push, there they are. And you can see there, at position two and three, are both batteries. All right. Pretty simple. Um, I need to learn how to use it. Um, all these are special solar plugs that have to go into the bottom of this, into all the solar connections under here. Um, but that's it, you know, it's still a work in progress. Um, I've ordered a new, um, what was that Victron thing's name I ordered? A Lynx input. Yeah, power in. Power in. yeah I ordered a Victron Lynx power in to replace my two bus bars um, and I'm still waiting on the correct DC switch to turn up um, but the uh, I like the, 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 the Victron power in the Lynx power in um, that looks just damn sexy and we'll be using that alright everyone there's an update let's put this back this is running our house you can see that here There's the volts, there's the watts, today we've used 4 kilowatts and in total since the system was live we've used 16 kilowatt hours. Okay, so like I say, uh, once I sort everything out and, and get the graphs and everything on the computer and all sorted out then we can go into it in more detail but there's still it's still a work in progress. Okay, so um, hold your criticisms um, because a lot of them you know are getting addressed anyway so it's pointless you criticizing when you've really got no idea what's going on <coughs> excuse me oh it's all cloudy now it's all cloudy now the sun's gone all right um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and ring the bell so you get video notifications. Um, and please comment, even if it is just to criticise, uh, and give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Um, Ziggy and I really, really appreciate that because it helps our channel. And uh, there, it just, it just helps us out as well. Okay, keep safe everyone.